Well, we all had that teacher in school who went one step further than the rest and just really made class come alive. Well, as we continue our celebration of Black History Month, we want to introduce you to a teacher from Exton, Pennsylvania, who's doing just that. This Black History Month, she's continuing her annual tradition of making learning fun by dressing up as black trailblazers for the entire month. Tamika Burton is a Spanish teacher at Collegium Charter School, and she joins us now to talk about this project. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. First, just tell us the importance importance of celebrating black history each year and highlighting these figures in particular. Well, good morning and thank you for having me. Um, it is so important because black history is American history, in my opinion. So it should be celebrated more than the month that we relegate it to, but to highlight these people for the month that we have is truly amazing for me. I love these outfits. I mean, first of all, I just got to say they're impressive. What, how, many, yes. <laughs> how many costumes do you have? Where are you getting all of these outfits? And where did this um, idea come to you from to actually dress up? All of the costumes, most of them come from my closet. The one where I was <laughs> Little Richard, my coworker actually made that one for me no. over the weekend. Um, some of them are my closet. Some of them I borrowed from friends, family members. The Goodwill is my favorite place during this month. <laughs> so... That's where a lot of my costumes come from. Who was your first that you dressed up as? The very first person I dressed up as was Ruby Bridges. Mm. Amazing. And tell us a little bit about Ruby Bridges. Uh, Ruby Bridges was a six or eight year old little girl who went to integrate a school. So I just decided, you know what, that's the first one. That's the one that everybody will get. So I just dressed up as her. Mm. How do the students react? What do they think when they see you? The students, I teach teenagers, so the students are definitely, at first, they were a little weird about it. <laughs> but then once a few, now that we're on the third year, they are able to explain to their friends exactly what I'm doing. When the ninth graders come in, they're like, oh, what is she doing? They're like, no, she dresses up for Black History Month. <laughs> so it, the student buy-in has been great. <laughs> yeah, does it help them engage? It sounds like it does if they're having conversations with friends about it. But do you think it kind of makes, you know, some of this actually stick a little better? I would say some of it sticks, not all kids, because <laughs> what I do is I give them a piece of candy if they can correctly guess who I am. Mm. So some students just want to know for their own knowledge, and they don't even want the candy. Tamika, I know you've got so some favorite. Oh, okay, great. I know you've got some favorite outfits. Tell us about who's been the most fun to dress up as and to represent and oh. share their history and legacy with your students. I have a few. Little Richard was one of my favorites. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix was another. Mm. Um, Bessie Mae Marshall Cunningham was a absolute favorite because I had a personal relationship with her. So bringing her to wow. life was amazing. Uh, Guy Blueford, who just popped on the screen, was definitely a favorite because I got to wear my hair out. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Pretty much any ones that I do are favorites. <laughs> They're all favorites. I love it. To me, Burton, so cool what you're doing for your students and taking that extra step to help them learn. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.